Good morning, Glazers. It is Friday, the 3rd of September, Flamelo's BDZ. And we are now headed to Copstart, the best cop. Swatties. Um, <laughs> Swatties. Swatties. <laughs> we are on the way to the airport. We're going to the best cop. Um, specifically the Swatland, the Mullinese invited us um, to a tasting. We're literally tasting 22 wines today, you guys. What? So, yeah, it's right. just a quick in and out. And we had such a big debate this morning about, or not this morning, but pretty what much I mean, yesterday, about like what do we do about makeup? Uh, based on makeup, what do we do? So, I think we're all sitting here with a half face, eh? Yeah. So we all have a half face on. Um, we'll chat more when we're at the airport. Yeah, so just spend the day with us. Uh, see you guys later. Bye, Tune. Good day. Good day. Um, it's been a long while and a lot of things have happened to us, with us, around us, for us, against us. But the point is that we're here and we are actually alive. What's happening now is that we are in the city of Cape Town at a secret location. We just had to just freshen up, get ready, put faces on, look nice. And now we're off to what we came here to do, which is so exciting. Um, we're driving to Swati's. Hey now. Swati's! Um, we're going to go join the Malinus and a whole group of wine loving people for an incredible day of tasting. So we'll take you along and yeah, we'll see you on the journey. That we look fabulous so <laughs> <laughs> note that um, and we've arrived at the Malinus at the at their roundstone farm um, for um, their new vintage release tasting as well as two vertical tastings yeah. um, it's ready? freezing yeah, yeah. just Literally. for you guys to know it's Yo. freezing but we're really excited to be here and we hope you guys enjoy, enjoy. stick with us and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe right. subscribe subscribe Anyway guys, um, so we've arrived, fully arrived now. We've all had one glass of wine. And Which Geno gave to us. Hey Geno. <laughs> and um, we're about to enter 23 more glasses. Actually probably Actually, 20 20 24 more. 24, 24, 24. yeah. That's that's right. Right. That has is. And we've said hi to so many people. Oh, yeah. Guys, we got invited to a bribe. We've I wish I could stay up for a week. Okay. <laughs> but it's so amazing meeting all the people that we talked to like, on Twitter and Instagram. So we're about to go in for the actual, actual yeah. tasting. And yeah, apparently it's amazing. There was a group we did it earlier. So yeah. Be in touch. It's going to be lit. The girls are in the bottom. No, it's, yeah, thank you everyone for coming out on a Friday afternoon. Uh, look, well, it's not technically not spring yet, but it feels like we should be in spring, but we're still in winter. Uh, and yeah, we're obviously super excited for this weather. All wet, dams are full and overflowing, and the vines are happy, so it's, yeah, it's a fantastic vintage or start of a vintage in the Scotland. Uh, and we've been doing events here since 2010. I think we've done 20 events and we've not once had any bad weather ever. Like no rain, no mist, nothing. So it's kind of nice to do something a little different. And usually we have people on the back of the ocean. So yeah, so thanks for joining us.
And then the shifts me. Because the letter does not know how to speak. What I'm saying is I like the younger girl. I think I'm learning up to the older girl. It's just, it's a little too savory for me. What, the shifts? The older girl. Oh, okay. Really mm. I like how she said like yeah. they're just custodians of the money. Like such a nice thing to say. You know, like they're not disturbing nature, they're just you know, guiding it and making a good waste of it. Okay guys, so we are on to we're in the tents of the wines that we've tasted so far and we've done red so we're kind of finishing the reds that we're tasting um yeah doing a vertical tasting so a vertical tasting is when you taste through the vintages through the years so and same wine same different wine, years different years yeah that's nice um but I, so i was saying to Alyssa that the, for the Malinese to open themselves up to this much scrutiny and like showing their growth like this mm. in this kind of way is mm. like that's crazy that's so courageous and so brave but also they're obviously like they're obviously so telling the test. so telling Are you joking? yeah yeah because you also only like would put yourself under that if you know generally what you're dealing with it's you know what yeah. I mean? And that's where they're at. So I love that. Tate, you want to say hi to our followers and fans? Hello, followers and fans. <laughs> you can say, hey, Glazers. Hey, Glazers. Love that. <laughs> love yeah. Glazers. I thought Glazers were people that follow soccer. No. no glaz oh, glass like, people. Like, like glass. Like glass. So yes. Like Glazers. Okay, guys. We're <laughs> so excited about this. Um, so we've been working with this vineyard for, for quite a while. And the last three years, as we've been making the wine, it's about understanding the nuances what do we want to achieve? What do we want to show people uh, when it comes to what to expect about Shannon growing on iron soils? And like with the Syrah, it is about texture, it's about mid palate, it's about roundness. There's this like amazing juiciness to the iron Shannon, but still with this like incredible weight and power, but it's not high in alcohol. It's, it's the lowest of the alcohol of the three of me. For these wines, we never use alcohol as a basis of So again, with the granite, it's about the linearity. With the schist, it's about those phenolics and about that structure behind it. And with the iron, it's about that just natural extract and that roundness. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, three months I'm really excited to show you. Seek B and B and Rebecca Castillo, and then we 
got invited to dinner. So we're now pumping. Hi guys. This is so crazy. Beleza. Yes, Beleza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, guys, I love things like this. I oh, will cry. Thank you. This is the end of the tasting and it's been so beautiful we're so just grateful right now um so happy to be meeting everyone and yeah on to the next part of the night bye welcome to be That's just my baby dog. That's just my baby dog. Um, hey, you guys. So it is the evening time, it is 19.13, we are at Vineyard V's um, and we are on our way to Dinter with some fellow winos um, in the Swatland. So very small town, we're going to one of the local restaurants that apparently bang and we'll just be hanging out with our wine friends. So it's time to go. We are leaving the beautiful vineyard views. We just had some breakfast. Um, <laughs> obviously broken, like um, completely broken, but <laughs> we moved. We've loaded up the car, as you can see, and we're heading to the airport. So we'll say our final goodbye when we're there. Welcome and goodbye to Cape Town here guys. We are now at the airport, um, waiting to board our flight home. And it's been a successful 24 hours. Yeah, we had a really good time. Actually really happy to be going home. 24 hours for this kind of thing is just like exactly enough. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You know the vibes. Always selling more wine, which is what we did yesterday. Yeah. <laughs>